Hi, uh, welcome to Vidya Guru. Okay, so see, uh, today's topic is concept of reversing a number and its application. Okay, so we will see uh, first thing. First, we will see the concept uh, of reversing a number, and thereafter, we will see lots of question regarding this of different concept. Like uh, we will see the question of average number system. Okay, and uh, thereafter, um, the simplifications as well. Okay, it will help you. A lot in simplification part as well. Okay, so remember the concept. See, concept of reversing a number is nothing. You can say here. See, uh, if I take a number, let it be. I am taking a number. Uh, any number. Let it be. I am taking a number like thirty-nine. Okay. When we reverse it, okay, it will become what? You can say it will become ninety-three, right? Thirty-nine and ninety-three. Now the terms come. The first thing we will see uh, or the concept of addition and thereafter subtraction. Okay, subtraction will help you in average. Okay, there are lots of question comes uh, in exam in different type of exam that where we can see the concept of subtraction as well. Okay, so see thirty nine plus if we add it, so it will become how much? Remember, see if you add it, you, it will become ninety three plus nine one hundred two plus three. It will become one hundred thirty two, right? Again, if let it be, if I am taking the different number, let it be ninety four plus forty nine. Okay, if I am reversing this number, so it will become how much? You can say one hundred three plus four forty. Uh, it will become one hundred forty three. Now try to understand the concept here. If you see, if you reverse any number, and if you add it, it will be a multiplication of eleven. How it is possible? See here, one thirty two can be written as uh, we can write one thirty two like this eleven into Twelve. Now see, try to understand this concept that where from where this twelve comes. See the addition of these two part. Either add this part or add this part. Okay, nine plus three will be how much? Twelve. Again, see one hundred forty three. One hundred forty three is will be equal to eleven into thirteen. Now see, just try to understand this thirteen. Where this thirteen comes? Thirteen comes from nine plus four. It will be equal to thirteen. Okay, either add from here nine plus four is equal to how much? Thirteen. You can say okay. So ninety four plus forty nine will be equal to one hundred forty three. Again, let it be if I am picking a number, different number. Let it be eighty one plus. You can say eighty one plus eighteen. Okay, if you add it, if you add it, it will become how much? You can say now you don't have to add it. You have to just remember the concept that this is a multiplication of eleven. So you have to do what? Eleven into Okay, eleven into the summation of these two nine. It will be equal to how much? You can say this will be equal to ninety nine, right? Okay, so this is the concept of addition. Basically, it comes from the concept of like this. See, if you write a two digit number, so what it will become? See, if you let it be a number unit digit. If I am taking a and uh, the tenth uh, unit digit, if let it be, I am taking uh, tenth digit. Let it be, I am taking a and uh, b is the unit digit. So if we write it in the format of uh, two digit number, so it will become how much? You can say ten a plus b. Yes or no? Now again, what happens? I am reversing it. So this time, uh, unit digit will become what? Unit digit will be a, okay, and uh, thereafter tenth digit will be b. So now, if we write it in the format of two digit number, then it will become what? You can say this will become ten b, okay, plus a, okay. This is the number uh, uh, before reversing, and this is the number after reversing. Now, if we are adding it, if let it be, if I am adding it, so it will become see ten a, ten a plus a, it will become eleven a, and plus. 10b plus b, it will become how much? You can say 11b. Okay. Now you can see here. This implies you can see you can write it in the format of 11 into a plus b. So remember the concept. Whenever a number comes, and if we have to find the sum of the reverse of that number, just just uh, take 11 and the multiply and uh, the multiplication of summation of unit digit and tangent. Let it be. If I am taking a number, uh, let it be 29. And if we are adding it with ninety two, the reverse of that number. So it, at that moment, you have to do what eleven into the addition of these two part. Eleven into eleven will be how much? You can say one hundred twenty one. Okay. So this is the concept for addition. Remember, this is the concept for addition. It means what? Whenever a number comes, if the question comes, we will see this concept, this application. Okay, in the question. Um, okay, so remember this concept. Okay, so let it be the question comes in simplification. Uh, the bigger, bigger type of question or tough question like this, they will give you data. Okay, like ten uh, digit. Okay, uh, let let not ten digit. Uh, five to six numbers will be there, and you have they will ask you what should be the number. Okay, what should be the addition or the subtraction? Okay, so this is the concept here. Remember the concept. Whenever the number, let it be. I am giving the other example as well. Let it be if we have forty seven. 
and if you add it with 74, so it will become, remember, 47 means what? Multiplication of 11 into 7 plus 4, it will be equal to 11. Okay, so the summation will be 121. So we don't have to add now. We have to remember this. This is a multiplication of 11 or it will come in the table of 11. Okay, so this is the first concept when we add, when we give, go with the addition concept. Okay, now we will move to the subtraction concept. So see here. <coughs> now, if we work on subtraction, let it be, I'm a uh, subtraction. Okay, let it be if, if I am picking a number 92. Okay, minus if you take num other number, if the reverse of this number will be become how much? You can say 29. Now, see if you see if you take the difference 92 minus 29, it will become how much? 63. Now, remember this is the other concept. This in subtraction, always remember in subtraction, you have to remember this that it is a multiple of 9. And see, it can be written as well. You can say 9 into 7. Now, try to understand from where this 7 comes from where the 7 comes. So this 7 comes from this, the difference of these two parts. 9 minus 2 will be how much? 7. 9 minus 2 will be how much? 7. So from here, it comes. Okay. Let it be, if I'm taking the other example, let it be 81 minus uh, 18. So it will be again 81 minus 18. If you subtract it, it will become how much? You can say 63. Okay. So 63 is nothing but this is the multiplication of 9 into the difference of these two parts. 7. It will become how much? You can say this will become 63. Okay. I'm working on uh, two digit right now. Okay. Uh, there is concept for three digit also. If we subtract three digit number, a number that will be a multiplication of 99. Remember. Okay. Now see, let it be if I'm taking a other number, uh, 71 minus 17. Okay. So it will become how much? See, 7 minus 1. You can say this is a multiple of 9 into 7 minus 1 will be how much? You can say 6. So 9 into 6 will be how much? You can say 54 will be your right answer. Okay. So try to understand this concept. Now see from where it comes. Okay. What was the origin? So simple. If we if let it be if I'm picking A and B. Okay. A and B. Okay. So B is basically unit digit and A is the tenth digit. If we want to write it in the format of uh, two digit number, so it will become 10A plus B. Right, this is uh, the number before reversing. Now, if we reverse it, when we will get the number 10b minus a, sorry, 10b plus a, got my point. Now, if we want to subtract it, so this part will be subtracted. So, how much we will get? See, 10a minus a, it will become 9a, right? Minus, see, 10b uh, minus 10b, it will become 9b. Now, see, the difference is what? 9 into a minus b. 9 into a minus b. Okay, remember one thing. Okay, see, remember one thing here, this A minus B, you have to uh, be careful at that moment, whatever the number is smallest or greatest, okay, at that moment, you have to put minus sign, okay, like if we take uh, 36 minus 63, okay, so see, this is the smaller number, and this is the bigger number, right, so put minus there, okay, put minus there, like 9 into C. Uh, 9 into 3 minus C. 3 minus 6 will be how much? You can say minus 3. Or 9 into, take the difference, 3 and put a minus. Because this is the smaller number and this is the bigger number. So your answer should be how much? 9 into 3 will be how much? 27. And the difference will be minus 27. Okay. Right. So this is the basic concept. Okay. At the end, you can say that in addition, uh, this is a multiplication of 11 and the summation of the uh, unit digit and 10 digit. And in... Um, Subtraction, you have to a multiple of 9 and the subtraction of unit, uh, unit digit and 10th digit. Okay. So, this is the uh, concept of reversing a number and thereafter we will see the different application and the question as well. Okay. So, let's start with some questions. Okay. So, the first question here, the question is saying, see, you have, see, if you have the concept, you will solve the question uh, very easily. Okay. See, question is saying, uh, the sum of two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order of its digit is 99. Now see, don't use that concept 10x plus 10y. See, if you are uh, uh, clever enough, okay, or if you have the concept in your mind, you will be able to solve the question in few seconds. Like how, see, question is saying the sum of two digits uh, number, okay, the sum of two digit number and the, see, two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order is 99. So what does it mean? 99 can be written as C. 99 can be written because the question is saying uh, C. The question is saying your sum. If sum is given, it means what? 99 is the multiple of 9 uh, uh, C. 
9 into 11 because the question is talking about sum yes or no the question is talking about the sum here so this should be a multiplication of 11 right and what we get we get the add you can say the summation of unit digit and 10 digit 10th digit is 9 here so from here we can find our equation that a plus b will be how much a plus b will be 9 see what is a and b here a is 10th uh, digit and b is your unit digit now question saying if the digits differ by see according to the question question is given digits differ by three digits differ by three what does it mean it means the question is saying you a minus b is given that is nothing but three here okay so that's the question find the number if you have to find the number what will be the you have to find the value of a and b as well yes or no so from here if you want to find the value see if you want to find the value of a just do here a will be how much just add these two 9 plus 3 12 divided by 2 so how much it will be 6 if you want to find the value of b will be uh, how much 9 minus 3 9 minus 3 it will be 6 okay and divided by 2 you will get 3 so what should be your number your number should be see either 63 or you can take 36 as well because it is not given which uh, part or unit digit or 10th digit is greater so your option should be 63 or 36 okay i hope you get this concept okay now we will see um, the next question or before that just try to understand the concept again your question is saying the sum of two digit number see uh, and the, because the question is saying sum and sum is given your 99 so what does it mean it should be a multiple of 11 so we can write in our mind that 99 is nothing but a multiple of 11 means 9 into 11 11 is is just because of reversing so a plus b will be how much you can see a plus will be b will be 9 and the question is saying if the digits of def d four by 3 question is saying digits basically d4 by 3 so a minus b is given that is how much you can say that is 3 now just take the difference and uh, find the value of a and b from there you will find the you will be able to find the answer that is 63 and 36 i hope you get this concept now we will move to the next question see here the question a very important question and uh, this question has lots of concept as well so try to understand the concept first uh, question first thereafter the question answer see the difference between a two digit number see question is seeing difference remember whenever the difference terms come in your mind uh, it should come that it is a multiple of nine whenever the summation part comes in your mind it should come that this is a multiplication of this should be a multiplication of 11 right now see the question is in the difference between a two digit number and the number obtained by interchanging the digit is 36 okay right difference is same so what does it mean 36 you have to do a little bit calculation that 36 is nothing but 4 into 9 9 is just because of reverse reversing number and the difference as well okay so we can say that a minus b okay a minus b is equal to how much 4 I'm taking the uh, A part as a bigger, means 10th uh, digit and B part as a, B as a unit, unit digit. Now see, question is saying, what is the difference between the sum? See, question is saying, what is the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits of the number? See, question is saying, what is the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits of number? What does it mean? Question is asking with you A minus B and A plus B. Yes or no? What is the difference? Okay, they are asking about the difference. Okay, so we will see here between the sum and the difference of the digits of the number. If the ratio between the digits of the number is given one by two, see here the question is saying that the ratio is given a is given one is to two. So see what does it mean? Ratio is given a upon b. It will be how much? You can say one upon two. Or if you want to write C, it is not clear that uh, A is greater or uh, B is greater. But here we have taken A minus B is equal to four here. So we have to take A as a greater number or not? Yes. So we can take A upon B is equal to two by one. Okay. Or you can write here B upon A is equal to nothing but we can say one by two. What am I point? Like this because I have taken A as a greater number. Right now, see, try to understand the concept. Push from here, it is written a minus b is equal to 4. Try to understand the here. A minus b is equal to 4. And here, a minus b will be how much? See, a minus b will be here. See, 2 minus 1. A minus b is 1 here. A minus b is 4 given. Okay. And from here, from the because this is the ratio concept. Okay. So don't uh, use the x here. Just simply a minus b is 1 here, but here is 4. So what should be the value of? Uh, you can see 4 should be the value of 1. Okay should be the value of one and if you want to the value of a so a will be how much we need the value of two yes or no so a will be how much you can say a will be eight and if you want the value of b here 
So B will be how much? You can say four is the value of one, and what we need, we need the value of A. That is B. That is one. So how much you will get? You will get four here. Okay. Now try to understand. Now try to solve the question. What the question is trying to say? The question is saying what is the difference between the sum? The so sum will be how much? Sum of the number. Question is saying what is the difference between the sum and the difference of the digits? The sum will be how much? The sum will be how much? You can say sum will be how much here? Sum will be twelve here, right? So the difference. What is the difference between the sum? And the difference of the digits of the number. Okay, difference we have got here. Difference it is given here, and uh, uh, we have uh, calculated. And summation it is given. Now the question is asking between the difference of these two part. Okay, so difference will be how much? Twelve minus four. Twelve minus four. It will be how much? You can say twelve minus four. It will be how much? You will get eight here. So what should be your answer? B will be the Right answer. That is the eight will be the right answer. Okay. I hope you get this concept. Okay. So you can see that. by the help of that application you are able to solve this question very easily and very effectively and very in very few seconds if you use the concept of 10a plus 10b okay and there are the words that if this question will take around 2 and 3 minutes okay so i hope you get this concept now we will move to the next question see this question see here basically this is a uh, this question comes in number system question uh, part okay so uh, see uh, What is this? Zero point x y bar plus zero point y x bar is equal to five by nine. See, if you have little bit idea about the bar, so we can say that. See, we can write it in the format of what? So we can write this part and this part. How we can write it? This these two part like this x y okay minus uh right x y minus uh, x okay divided by c nine and zero x y minus x divided by ninety. Plus, we can write here y x minus y divided by ninety. Right? The question is saying this will be equal to how much? You can say this will be equal to five by nine. The question is given here. This is equal to five by nine. Okay. So now uh, solve this question. See here. So we can say this implies. See, this is a two digit. This is now two digit number. And this is minus x, y x minus y. So see here, if we cancel this out, nine uh, nine will be cancelled out. Okay, so this will become ten and ten. Okay, the other step will be how much? You can say ten will if shift we shift ten this side, it will become see x y minus x. Okay, plus y x minus y is will be equal to how much? You can say fifty here. Now try to understand the concept here. We know this is a two-digit number x y. So this can be written as how we can say this can be written as like see twenty-three. Twenty-three can be written as how two into ten plus three. So similarly x y can be written how you can say ten x plus y here minus x here thereafter plus see y x can be written as uh, again ten y plus right ten y plus x. Minus y is equal to how much? Fifty. Okay. So I have written here. Okay. But in case if you have idea of that concept, you can simply write these two part. Okay. I have written here. Or if you just want to skip this part, you can write the. If you consider this x y and y x, you can consider these these two part as like this or not. If you because this is the addition of a uh, two number that is in the reverse format. Okay. So simply we can write eleven into x plus y or not. Okay, but if you want to use the other, if you want to explanation part like this, so you can write this part and like this, and this part like this, and again if you add it, it will become see ten x plus x, it will become become eleven x plus c here ten y, ten y plus y, it will become eleven y. Okay, minus x minus y is equal to fifty. Okay, so if we have little bit idea about the concept, we can skip this part as well. Yes or no? Because we can directly write this in this format. Okay. Now this implies we can say that 10x plus 10y is equal to how much? 10x plus 10y is equal to how much? 50. So the question is asking with you x plus y is equal to how much? So you can say that x plus y will be how much? X plus y will be equal to 5. Okay. That's will be that will be your answer. That is the A part. Okay. So I hope you get this concept. Remember, this is the part type question. X y bar. So x y bar is can be written as like this. X y Minus x divided by nine and one zero. Okay, one part nine and one part is remaining. That's why we have written here zero. Okay, 
i hope that you get this concept now we will move to the next question okay so if if you haven't still uh, like and subscribe our channel please like it and subscribe it okay and uh, share it with your friends so that they can benefit it from the our videos okay now see uh, the that concept concept can be used in the use in the average questions as well so see here the question is saying uh, the question see question is in the average marks of 50 students see we have 50 students is given okay in an examination was 65 the average is given 65 okay now it was later found that the marks of one student had been wrongly entered okay the question is in one student's marks was wrongly entered uh, as 83 instead of 38 see 38 was correct marks but just because of uh, wrongly entered it was 83 so average should be decreased yes or no now you can see here uh, you have to see here see 83 and 38 this number is in the reverse format so how much marks should be decreased here because see initially it was 38 okay by mistake it was written 83 okay so average should decrease yes or no by how many marks okay i am considering here marks first so marks is how much you, you can simply say 9 into 5 okay 9 into 5 why i have taken here 9 9 is because we have to take the difference of 83 and 38 right so 83 minus 38 okay 83 minus 38 will be how much 9 multiplication of 9 into 5 so 9 into 5 will be how much you can say 45 okay this is the basic marks this is basic marks okay which was decreased okay which should be decreased from the average okay so we have to take the average of this part as well so initially uh, the every in an examination was 65 okay so average should be how much you can say 65 minus 45 upon this should be this 45 uh, marks will be divided in how many students in, in 50 students that is the average concept yes or no now if you divide it you will get how much see here uh, 9 by 10 it means what 65 minus 0.9 okay 65 minus 0.9 will be how much you can say uh, 64.1 so that your answer should be what your answer should be d part that is 64.1 should be your right answer okay i hope you get it see just because of that concept you can you can easily find that 83 you have to work on 83 minus 38 so the difference will be how much you can say difference will be 45 okay if difference is 45 so 45 marks should be decreased okay out of 50 student because average is that we we basically uh, divide each number okay in fifth in all the students okay and there are basically 45 marks so 45 marks should be divided in 50 students so that will be 0.9 for each and every student and that average uh, that we have to uh, subtract from the uh, exact average so your answer should be 64.1 will be your right answer so it means that d is the right answer okay so i hope you get this concept okay now we will move to the next question now so, <coughs> the question is saying here the average marks of 40 students okay the average marks of 40 students was found to be 68 okay see now the question is that we have 40 students and the average is 68 right if the marks of two students now the data is given to see in other question it might be three okay it might be four okay so the question is saying if the marks of two students were incorrectly entered as 48 and 64 okay instead of 84 and 46 again see work on difference okay because we have to at the end we have to find the difference here yes or no? so 48 and 64 okay see students were incorrectly entered as 48 and 64 instead of 84 and 46 so see here here the mark when we consider here 48 and 84 here the marks basically marks should be increased and in this part <coughs> in this part see this is 48 and correct part was 84 and this is 64 correct part was 46 yes or no so here marks will increase first part marks will increase and in other part marks will decrease so we have to check the total marks increase or decrease okay so see here 48 and 84 so difference we have to take so difference is how much you can say 9 into 4 this mark should be increased yes or no 9 into 4 See forty-eight, eighty-four difference. Eight minus four will be four. Okay, and the multiplication of nine, nine into four, and there are sixty-four and forty-six. So what we have to take minus? Yes or no? Because this part forty-six is less. Okay, and sixty-four is more. Yes or no? 
So we have to take minus nine into okay, this length six four. Okay. So your part will be nine into four minus two will be two. So it will be how much? Eighteen. So eighteen marks. Okay, we have to increase in the average. Okay, eighteen marks should be increased. Eighteen marks is increased. Not I'm I'm not consulting about um, average. So what will be the correct average? Eighteen marks should be divided among forty students. So correct average will be how much? You can say sixty-eight plus forty. If I sorry, this should be eighteen. So sorry, this should be eighteen. Eighteen divided by what? Right now, see sixty-eight. Plus, okay. If you solve it, it will become see twenty and nine. Twenty and nine. Okay. Now, if you divide it, so it will become zero point. Okay, nine zero four five. Okay. So if you add it now, your answer should be how much? Sixty eight point four five. Sixty eight point four five. That is your answer should be the C part. Okay. So I hope you get this concept very easy. See, if we have the concept of reversing a number. While addition and subtraction, we will be able to solve a lots of type of lots of type of question in number series, okay, in simplifications and in uh, average as well. Okay, you can see this these type of question can be solved very easily with the help of these concepts. Okay, now we will move to the next question. Okay, so see this question. Uh, the question is saying a student finds the average of Ten two digits number. See here the question of ten two digits number. Now, the, if the if the digit of one of the numbers is interchanged, okay. The question is saying about the one of the digits, okay. So, if the digit of one of the numbers is basically interchanged, okay. The average increases by three point six. See, question is saying a oh, very important and interesting question. If you have the idea, you can solve it very easily. The question is saying one of the numbers is interchanged here, okay. So the average increases by three point six. What does it mean? Average increases means what? Uh, might be the question. Whatever the number uh, was there, okay. The number what we have interchange that number should be greater. Yes or no? That's why average is increasing now. If the if it was written the average decreases, what does it mean? That if you reverse the number, we get less, or you you can say you get smaller number. Okay, but here. Average increases by three point six. The difference between the digits of the number, of the two digits, its number is. So the question is asking you about a minus b. The simple part. Okay. So see, remember, see here. Your three point six is given. Okay. The number average increases by three point six, and we have ten number. Okay. So what? How many? Or you can say how how much it increases. So you can say three point six. Okay. Into ten. It means what? You can say. Basically, it increases by thirty-six. It increases by thirty-six. Now, see the question is in the difference between the two. Now, the question is asking you about the difference. Okay, means a minus b. So we know that this thirty-six is nothing but uh, the difference of two number. Okay, the difference of two number, which is basically uh, reversed. Yes or no? So and we need this part only. So we we can say that nine into a minus b. Will be equal to how much? Thirty six. Yes or no? And we need a minus b here. So a minus b will be how much? You can say a minus will be b will be nine four zero thirty six. Yes or no? So you will get answer what? You can say that your answer should be the a part. Remember, see here. Basically, we need the difference, and we know that if we find the difference of a number which is reversed, okay. So if we want to find the reverse of that number. Okay, so the difference will be a multiple of nine. Now the question is asking you the difference of that two digit number. Okay, that uh, two means unit digit and tenth digit. Yes or no? The unit digit and tenth digit. So unit digit and tenth digit will be how much of uh, uh, that number? Okay, difference is given thirty six divided by nine. That means your answer should be your four will be your right answer. Okay, so okay then that's it for today. Uh, and uh, see uh, before that. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Okay, so that they can benefit it from our videos. Okay, there is a comment section too. Okay, uh, give your valuable comment. Okay, if you like uh, our videos or not. Okay, so give your valuable comment so that we can improve a lot. Okay, so okay then that's it for today. Thank you so much.